There's an overall change happening in the world. There is a shift in where the money is going. There is a shift in values and what people are concerned about. Welcome to Global Energy Show's 5x5. Five five. I'm your host, Rachel Gregory, and today we're chatting with Paul Cairns, Chief Business Development Officer of EVER. Now, Paul, EVER believes it can provide an affordable, renewable energy source anywhere in the world. Tell me more about that. EverLoop today works anywhere in the world, and we've proven that. The question is, of course, how much it will cost. Today, around 15 cents a kilowatt hour is what we can deliver reliable electricity anywhere in the world. We're working to get the price down, and our target is five cents a kilowatt hour. We have very, what we believe are quite attainable targets in the next three, four, no longer than five years. Primary focus for cost to come down is gonna be the cost of drilling. Once you get down to five cents a kilowatt hour, you have a load following, zero emitting, reliable energy source at five cents a kilowatt hour. What that means and how we change the world is that everyone anywhere in the world and Everloop can work anywhere in the world. What makes the Everloop different from other geothermal technologies out there? We think of Iceland when we think of geothermal. Here in Canada, as an example, there is exactly zero megawatts of geothermal power at any price. Why is that? Is it because we're not good at drilling? No, we're excellent at drilling. Is it because we're not interested in those sort of power sources? Many parts of Canada would be begging for it and are begging for that sort of power source. It's simply that those rare rock conditions are hard to find. An Everloop, however, the rock conditions are virtually meaningless to us. Everloop is not interacting with the rock. It doesn't require an aquifer. We are simply taking up wellbore space. We're making hole in the ground. Our fluid passes through that hole, flowing through it. It's touching the sides of the hole, touching the rock. That rock is hot. The rock in behind it is hot. The rock in behind that is hot. And through a form of conduction, the heat is transferred into the fluid. The fluid flows through and comes to surface. And just like traditional geothermal, just like a lot of things, there's technology that's not ours that efficiently takes the heat out of that fluid once it comes to surface turns that heat into electricity, and then sends the now cooled water back down to be put back through the system again and pick up new fresh heat, and on and on it goes. Everloop is scalable globally. Traditional geothermal, fracking geothermal, is not. I'm no geoscientist, but perhaps, uh, I mean, Rocky Mountain House, that's, it's not a crazy rock formation like you'd find in Iceland, so I guess that's case in point, your test site. Um, it's working, obviously, in, in a place like Rocky Mountain House, so that kind of proves that perhaps this is something that could go anywhere. The Rocky Mountain House location was chosen very intentionally for the reason that you just mentioned. Had we decided to put a demonstration facility of our technology in Iceland, I don't think anyone would have been impressed. Oh, you got geothermal to work in Iceland, did you? So what? Uh, you, how could you miss? This location we picked in Rocky Mountain House had a lot of attributes to it that were the right sort of things that we wanted to show and prove. If, if it could work there and be demonstrated there, then as the market and the world comes to see it, they would feel confident that we're back at home, wherever they were, the conditions would be not as harsh or not as poor as what were there. And so surely if it worked here, it would work anywhere. Why is it important for a company like Ever to participate in the Global Energy Show? There's an overall change happening in the world. There is a shift in where the money is going. There is a shift in values and what people are concerned about. It's important for us to be at the Global Energy Show, um, I think for very obvious reasons. We have a target to change this world from the energy stack point of view, the whole of the world. We are scalable and can go anywhere. So Paul, you mentioned that Ever is different and it's I've seen it through your ad campaign that you guys did uh, with Rolling Stone. It's definitely um, a different taste than a traditional energy company or oil and gas company would take. So what what's going on with that? Where did this idea come from? We look for platforms that are, that are different. We talk about changing the world and how that's going to happen in the future. It's important to us to raise the profile overall of, of Ever. It's not as important today for everyone to understand what it is that we do. It's this global opportunity. It's this looking at things differently. We believe it's important that the younger generation especially thinks that what we're doing is cool. 
Absolutely. It was clever. I loved it. I thought it was great marketing. So uh, well done. And thank you so much, Paul. This was uh, so great chatting with you and learning about Ever. And I'm really excited to follow your guys' future and proud to know that a company like this is uh, exists here in Alberta. So thank you so much. Thank you.